Hi everybody, I'm Bren and I'm going to show you my best in show vegetables and flowers I grew this season. Everything except these impatience, I will have a full detailed video on each variety. The impatience were a no fuss, beautiful afterthought, which worked out fantastic in the end. Don't you agree? Red of Florence onions are sweet and mild. I can't wait to plant them again in my Northwest Ohio Zone 5 non-traditional garden. But next year, a bit closer together as they have a very slim torpedo shape. The full video can be found under onion in the playlists. Sugar baby watermelons are a mini version of an old favorite. I lovingly hand pollinated these little beauties and was richly rewarded. I also found a lot of joy in trellising all of my melons this year. Mini melons on trellises in zone five are a maximizing combination. If you haven't tried this yet, you definitely need to. Winning, is that still a thing? Doubt it. Playlist, melons. Hilda Romano green beans, or Hilda to us Americans. Yes, I have to admit it. I initially bought these because of my love for Ray Romano, but they quickly became a favorite vegetable for me. Pleasantly shocked as I am not a green bean lover. Refried beans with tacos, that's way different. And yes, please. Flat pods, picked young, and cooked fresh, they are stellar. A non-beanie bean, they won my heart, just like Ray. Hey Ray, how you doing? Oh, that's a different show. A detailed, less personality-packed video under beans in my playlist. Queen Lime Red Zinnias were definitely the it girl of my skinny driveway garden this season. Full of vibrant pinks and maroons and just about every tone in between would wonderfully welcome me back home. This glorious and gorgeous flower seems more like a mix and not just a flat standard color choice. An array of designs and color combos and sizes. I got so much enjoyment out of these and so did the butterflies. Lots of monarch footage on the full video under flowers in my playlist. Check out my Etsy shop, T-Shirt Garden Company, featuring gardening, no mo may, sewing, tiny house, zen meditation designs, link in box below. Sugar Cube Mini Cantaloupe was a real labor of love for me this year, as I really concentrated on hand pollinating these daily and seemed to hold court with my beloved bees at the same time. That made this tiny and sweet flavored melon experience even better for this bee lover. A very heartfelt thank you to all the beekeepers out there in the world. You are appreciated and very much needed now more than ever. If you do not know how to hand pollinate, now is the time to learn. My melon playlist includes two videos just on hand pollinating. And of course, these tasty sugar cube melons. Chinese string eggplant was a sweet surprise for me. 
especially since I'm not a big fan of eggplant. But this one was a game changer. Sweet, raw, or cooked. I loved slicing them super thin and frying them up to a seasoned crisp. They grew very well and easily in containers. And the fruit seemed to come in convenient waves or batches. Since these are very slim, grow more than what you think you might want to avoid disappointment later. Playlist Eggplant. But you probably figured that out already. General Lee cucumbers are a beginning gardener's dream. They crank out huge harvests almost to the point of irritation. Tastes great, easy, and no need to pollinate because they are mostly all females. Yes, they are all that and a bag of chips. Classic sayings never go out of style, unlike winning. When you find a good man or woman, you stop looking around and I've stopped looking. Well, for cucumbers anyway. You guessed it, all right. Playlist, cucumbers. Evening sun mix and lemon queen sunflowers. Who doesn't like sunflowers? If I skip a year of sunflowers, I miss them. So easy, but yet packed with personality. My favorite thing is when the petals are still partially clothed, closed and you get a real cheeky wink from them. Some even can look sad. I even grow and squeak them into part shade areas. My full sun garden bed had the outer perimeter growing pumpkins this season, which was a great no weed, no fuss combo. And I got a few great decor bonuses out of the deal. Playlist Sunflowers. Zucchino Ramdicant is a real OG and without a doubt, the sweetest zucchini I have ever tasted or grown, or pumpkin, or winter squash, because it's classified as all three. The further in the season, the longer the vines, and the more side shoots, and the larger number of harvests you can count on, beyond prolific, and a food prepper's fantasy. My fave of the season. Therefore, I have an extremely detailed video on this ridiculously easy, no maintenance, no issue, sure thing zucchini. It sure is nice to have a sure thing once in a while. Playlist, squash and zucchini. Jones, wildflower bee mix. If you liked my video, please give it a like and please subscribe. I know you already know that it's free because every YouTuber tells you that. You don't have to comment. You don't have to hit the bell. Just subscribe to help out my channel. And if you would be so kind, because quite frankly, it is a lot of work. Thank you so much for watching and I invite you again to subscribe as I have been gardening for over 40 years and have a lot to teach, show, grow, review, experiment with, and my favorite, a specific variety everything deep dive. So let's try new things together, mix it up, and have a glorious day.